back to the YouTube channel of Pro Enzo Vids, and um, this is my thoughts on a signing that got confirmed last night. Um, yeah, not officially confirmed, but like it, it's going to be announced probably very soon, you'd imagine. And um, yeah, this is based on Matt Lodge, and um, I'm sure we're all aware that Matt Lodge walked down the Warriors, walked down the Warriors um, back in May. So um, you know he's obviously not going to be. Not going to be that back at that club anytime soon, I imagine. And um, yeah, he's on the, obviously look out for a new club. He's um, based himself back in New South Wales and um, definitely wants to get a new contract elsewhere. And um, looks like he's found one with the Roosters uh, for the remainder of this season. Um, so what what interests interests me is that he um, he left the Warriors because of I guess not wanting to go back to New Zealand and all that sort of stuff and. And, um, you know, I guess, yeah, I don't know, his contract with the Warriors was a bit confusing as well because the Warriors paid that much money and then he walks out on them and, yeah, it kind of um, bought the Warriors um, backside pretty much with how they're, how they're handling with his contract and just based on everything like that. You know, I think there was a real drama um, surrounding that. But, you know, he's left the Warriors now and um, the, the rest is history with, with um, how he had the argument with their owner, Mark Robinson. But anyway, Matt Lodge is now going to be a rooster. He's going to be there. Um, I'd say maybe next week, as early as next week, he could be starting there. So um, it's uh, I'm not I'm not too big in the signing because I think Matt Lodge is an okay player, but what does he provide other than just defence and um, maybe a little bit of experience? You know, I, I don't think he's an amazing front rower. I don't think he's a top ten front rower, and I don't think he's in general an amazing front rower. But I do think he'll do a job. Um, definitely. Makes his tackles definitely um, turns up every game consistently. But again, there's some games where he might have a brain snap, where he might you know punch a player, do a stupid move in one player. You know, it all comes down to that sometimes. With Matt Lodge, but I think um, he'll be a good signing for the Roosters, especially under a system where the Roosters are very successful. Got a lot of um, good players there around him, and obviously when you're coached by Trent Robinson, that's a, a real privilege. So I, I expect Trent Robinson to get the best out of uh, Lodge and. Um, I guess maybe he plays well for the remainder of this year. He might get a contract next year because I believe his contract is a bit, is a bit like to Vita Pango Jr. with the Panthers in 2021. You know, this is like Matt Lodge now with the Roosters in 2022. Basically on a deal that lasts the rest of the season. I think Parramatta are actually closer than getting Matt Lodge too, but the Roosters have kind of uh, gone their own way and has snatched him instead. So, um, yeah, I think it's um, an alright pickup. Definitely will do a job. Definitely will um, provide some, I guess, depth off the, off the bench, maybe. But um, yeah, it, it's not. I don't think the Roosters, the Roosters really need him though. They have Hargreaves there, Collins. You know, they've got some real depth. I mean, Takaya is going to the Catalans next year, so it makes a bit of sense if uh, they sign Lodge for next year too. But um, yeah, as of right now, I don't think so. But maybe in the long run, Lodge could be helpful for them, maybe. But again, it's a very risky signing. But I guess. When you're under a good system, like I mentioned before, and when you're playing with a, with a side that has always done well with every player that's gone there and have changed their careers around, I think Lodge is a, could be a good example of that if he goes to Roosters and um, you know works his game and continues to do the best, the right stuff properly to help him become a better player. So I, I think it's um, a good pickup, and um, hopefully he does well. Hopefully all the best for him and his family moving to, to New South Wales and. Hopefully, um, yeah, it gets consistent game time there. But anyways, everyone, that brings the end to the video. What are your thoughts on the signing of Matt Lodge for the Sydney Roosters for the remainder of the year? Did you like it or did you dislike it? Let me know in the comment section down below. But yeah, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and um, yeah, see you in the next one.